What is going on, ladies and gentlemen? Randy here, RTSmall.com, bringing you a fantastic Eve Echoes video today. This is a remake of yesterday's Garmer Fit video. Uh, I did not have this disclaimer at the beginning, and I sincerely apologize if I misled you. Um, this is on the test server. The Garmer and the entire Mordu's Legion faction are they are not available for the public, and they are not coming in the Sovereign update as far as I know. We don't know when they're coming. They're coming in the future, but we don't know when. And we don't know if they're going to be changed in that time. So, on to the fit build, because this uh, is the best frigate in the game. I mean, I can't even... This thing is insanely amazing. It hits harder than a cruiser with all the perks of being a frigate, right? I can speed tank. I'm super fast. I'm relatively tanky for a frigate, and I hit harder than your average cruiser, right? Now, a faction cruiser might beat me out, but your, your average cruiser, not a chance, okay? So... Uh, let's get right into the bonuses. Now, the Garmer has extremely fast, right? Uh, three times speed on the missile torpedo velocity. So that's 200% plus bonus speed for a total of 300% speed on the missiles. Now, for example, to put that in perspective, with all the bonuses, including skill levels and the Garmer's uh, uh, faction ship roll bonus, total 12,375 meters per second, whereas your base... Uh, missile launcher would have 3750 meters per second so just over three uh, times the speed almost three and a half times as fast okay in addition the Garmer uh, provides uh, explosion velocity bonus and uh, I am uh, fitted to reduce the uh, the radius okay so the explosion velocity is 170 and the radius is 40 in the base stats and you can see here that uh, in fact the velocity is 250 instead of 170 and the radius is 23.13 instead of 40 with the skills and fittings on this ship and the bonuses that it comes with so the Garmer is clearly tailored with its massively fast uh, missiles and torpedoes and their uh, faster explosion velocity and smaller radius it is tailored to kill smaller ships now the Mordu's Legion Garmer is a frigate and cruiser killer this thing is Beastly. Like I said, it hits as hard as your uh, non-faction uh, non cruisers, and it moves like a frigate. So, uh, let's check out the other fits that I have, right? So, you saw I already have the X-Type Small Missile Launcher. I'm also running, excuse me, an A-Type Ballistic Control System to give myself some bonus damage and bonus attack speed. And I am running a Small Shield Extender in addition to a Micro Warp Drive. Um... For the mid-slots, I'm running a large group shield booster because every 20 seconds, this is going to give me almost a full uh, shield, right? Really nice for survivability when I'm moving this fast. And it doesn't affect my capacitor, which is great. Okay, uh, I'm also running a guidance disruptor because one of the few things that can hit me is missiles. So we're going to go ahead and make sure that uh, I am not getting hit by missiles. And then, of course, the warp scrambler, as you saw... The Mordu's Legion gives it 50% uh, uh, Warp Scrambler optimal range. So my Warp Scrambler range is just under 32 with this office, uh, officer level Scrambler, okay? Amazing ship. Now for the rigs. I am using two rigs tailored to killing smaller ships, okay? I'm using the Warhead Rigger Catalyst, which is going to uh, decrease my explosion radius. And I am running... Uh, I am also running the Warhead Flare Catalyst, which is going to increase my explosion velocity bonus. So between the two of them, my radius is smaller, and my explosion is going to hit that radius much faster. So this is, again, tailored to kill small ships, okay? And then, of course, I am running the strongest DPS to increase rig there is, which is attack speed, okay? Now, for navigational rigs, I'm running two inertia modifiers, and I'm running one flight velocity adjustment. Now, I'm running two inertia modifiers, the polycarbons, because uh, you're really, when you're in optimal range, you're not going to be going more than 4,200 meters a second, and uh, that's you know that's where I'll be with with the with the thruster. So with polycarbon, I can make those tighter turns, I can close the gap, I can turn on a dime, I can do all kinds of stuff. That's a lot of fun. Okay, so that is the fit. Let's get out to the field and check out some damage, baby. Get some damage. Uh, by the way, don't forget to give me that like and sub uh, if you haven't already. Again, I apologize. I had to remake this video from yesterday. But this ship is absolutely beastly. And you know what? I figured it was worth it. Uh, I did not want to upset uh, Joseph and all the uh, all the wonderful devs and, uh, and, and admin. So 
So here we are remaking with the disclaimer. Let's jump. What am I doing? Cosmic Anomaly. Let's jump to a 10 over here. We'll jump to a 10. We'll jump uh, 40 out, and you'll get to see some cool stuff. So Warp like I said, that active. large shield uh, large shield group uh, rep is really nice. It's going to repair my shields uh, hopefully faster than any damage that I take. My total shields, as you can see here, are 2565. So basically, within a minute and a half, I can fully regenerate my shields. Okay? The armor, of course, is lower because it is a shield tank. And then you have your standard uh, crappy hull. Okay? Now, we are coming in hot. Let's go ahead and orbit this Raven. Now, the Raven is a battleship. Okay? The Raven is a battleship. So we are going to kill the battleship. Lock him. We're going to disrupt. I'm just going to pop everything because why not? We're going to go uh, weapons hot in just a second here. You can see here I'm, I'm already hitting 4,200 meters a second, which is about where I want to be to orbit at 23. Um, and I'm actually going to pull the orbit in to uh, sit myself at exactly 4,200. And we're going to pull the orbit into uh, 22. Really, the best orbit that you can be at is like 20 to 22 range that ensures your missiles uh, will travel fast enough and far enough to account for the target's velocity while still impacting a full damage, okay? So, weapons going hot, and let's get the first volley off. Here we go, baby! Coming in hot! Coming in hot! 2686! This is a frigate, ladies and gentlemen. This is a frigate. 2686 hit with missiles. Boom! There's another one identical damage. This thing is a god. So what is my DPS hot? Let's look. 455 DPS hot. This thing is insane. Navigational, I can go 4364. If I do put on one more uh, auxiliary thruster rig, I can hit 5,000 meters a second. A little bit unnecessary because as you can see, I'm not even taking damage. I'm just punching this guy in the face. I'll turn off all my, all my stupid little things here that I don't need. Um, I'm just punching this guy in the face right now for full DPS, 2686 hot. What's the DPS look like cold? Well, let's take a look. Let's take a look, Mr. Raven. What does it look like when I punch you in the face? 2556. So, still a huge amount of DPS uh, without that hot on there. Uh, so, really, this is uh, a ship worth flying. Like I said, it hits harder than a lot of cruisers. It moves fa <laughs> fast like a frigate, right? And uh, this thing is just God's gift to Eve Echoes. So, that's about it. Thanks for watching this video. I love you guys a long time. Hit that like and sub button. Randy out, baby. Peace.